TTRLA, man, we are back with another clip. You know what I mean? Hey, Amen. Say, man, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and share to my channel. Like, subscribe, and share to my channel, motherfucker. I'm going to give you two seconds. All right, you should be good, man. This is right here is what we call an informative clip, man. I'm doing a, um, a review on the three-hour podcast that Jason Lee had with Blueface and Jaden Alexis. And I want to first say this. I've only gotten to 45 minutes into this three-hour podcast so i'm gonna break up my um my opinion piece on this interview i first want to say that jason lee is very messy but i love it and also he asks very very good questions he asks the same questions maybe in different ways to try to trip people up which is great if you are that type of messy type of interviewer um but he's asking the questions that people want to know now in this podcast uh, what was most interesting to me is how that I realized that Blueface is at an, is an actual psychopath. He's an he's the definition of not only a narcissist but a psychopathic narcissist because he lacks empathy. He has no empathy for anybody, not his kids, not his mom, not his siblings, nobody. He barely got sympathy for himself. So to really like for Jason to really really like make Blueface feel really comfortable to really express himself was fantastic. Now in this in this um in this interview, I thought what was most interesting was a few things i'm gonna go ahead and insert the um the the little snippet that i got and then we're gonna talk about it i got a couple of them joints all right so, so you turned turn down me. plenty of women jason okay, okay. So, so your young, young love, love do you know, know that, that he's, he's no okay so at first i didn't have any idea but okay. everyone actually <laughs> Gay! okay so we're gonna break down that that little snippet that snippet right there had me feeling like the the people because Jaden really never explained what the girls her friends were saying about Blueface or if they did tell her she didn't want to put that information out there in the interview right and so I was in my mind the way the question that Jason asked it you didn't want to you know what I'm saying it made me feel like damn did people in high school think this nigga was a fucking freak freaky shooter you know what i'm saying they probably thought his homie was gay and the girlfriends was trying to warn him and she was like no you think he gay i don't think he gay i'm gonna see for myself then boom you feel me they together Blueface was saying a, a, a lot of like weird shit like when jason lee was um talking to, to Jaden about you didn't care that he had all these women and then blue faces is like i'm not gay like bro nobody even said you was gay bro like are you gay what the fuck like you just randomly i fuck plenty of bitches that make me feel like you're <laughs> gay we're gonna get into some more snippets and we're gonna break these little snippets down i don't got too many because I, like i said i only stopped at 45 minutes but this was a damn good uh interview you feel me jason was really asking the right fucking questions he's an excellent excellent interviewer although he messy as shit and i do want to say this like and, and it's no offense to the community or nothing like that but i just feel this is my personal beliefs right and this doesn't have to do with you know even if if you're a straight man you don't have to be biased or you know homophobic but i just feel like if you're a real man right regardless if you accept people for who they are right it's just a certain level of manhood or man time that a man should be keeping himself up to you feel me it's a high standard you should be holding yourself to so when you are un when you realize or when you know that a gay man is crushing on you you have to make sure that that nigga feels uncomfortable not to make remarks to you like that because if you do in a gay man's mind they're thinking like okay all i gotta do is keep showering this nigga with you know some nice little shits and i'm gonna eventually get one get him you know what i'm saying he's already telling you that he's dating a, a gay crip you feel me and they all all online talk about some ain't no gay crips i i met a gay crip when i was in la so i know it's gay crips so as a man blue face should have been not only uh putting jason in his place so that m these rumors is not circulating if it's not true he should have motherfucking he shouldn't be telling no man that his dick hard like bro I, I don't know if i got this clip but we're gonna get into it let's let's play some more clips the homegirls when i was young yes they would tell me 
So I'm like, mm. Good thing you but I didn't really listen. I, didn't, I was just like, uh, are you being a hater or are you just like, or was you trying to talk to me? It wasn't going well or something. I don't know. I didn't really like feed into it because I'm not the type of person that's like, you could tell me something that's not going to feed how I, you know, if I'm going to learn him first or not. Am I tripping or did she ever say what the homegirls told her? You know what I'm saying? What did the homegirls tell her? Did they say that he's a player? What? Because I'm pretty sure she could see that for her own fucking eyes. This nigga was an athlete in high school. They met at PE. So I'm pretty sure he saw that she had the bitch, that he had the bitches. So what did the homegirls say? You feel me? Y'all gotta, y'all gotta use y'all brains here. She really trying to give y'all tea without giving y'all tea because Jade and Alexis is a lesbian herself. For real, for real. At the end of the day, they both two gay people trying to live this straight lifestyle and they, that's not who they are. So they're just making the image of that. You know what I'm saying? And it, and I get it. That's what you gotta do because this world is very judgmental. You feel me? And people are, uh, are, are gonna judge you based on that. So, um, it, I feel like that's the case, but we're gonna keep continue forward let's move forward okay your lifestyle your preference yeah sure i i love people too man as long yeah. as you fuck with me i fuck with you so as he's taking his clothes off hey did y'all hear that pause the nigga almost said he was gay <laughs> homie pause like shit bro Homie, pause like shit, bro. Blueface may be a, a, a playing on both sides the nigga may be bisexual you feel me he may be bisexual, bruh. Ain't no straight man pausing like this. And first of all, ain't no straight man allowing a gay nigga to say to they face, regardless if you don't give a fuck about what they doing behind closed doors. No real man, I'm going to tell you this, no real man is going to allow a gay man to say, I got I have a crush on you. I have a, I, last year I had a strong, that's not going to happen, bro. Unless the, the dude is a little, you know, tambourine player. So my ho always hope was to just have the kids have that but i think so I you just, always wanted to have the I, family. I, I definitely want that and i you know i long for that so it's like i want that for the kids i want that so much but i actually thought this part of the interview was pretty telling and also pretty sad you know because Jaden alexis is not the only woman like this who is desperate for love desperate for that male uh, affection and attention that they have lacked because of their absentee father. You know what I'm saying? This is a prime example of why Monique, the comedian said that she calls her husband daddy because basically she said that she, he is raising her. Now, I, I don't know if that's the case in the blue face and the Jaden Alexis situation, but Jaden Alexis is willing to deal with, you know, the bullshit because she's desperate for love. She's desperate for that attention. She's desperate for that, that male figure in her life that she lacked with her father being incarcerated. So I blame Jane and Alexis dad for not being a man to stay out of prison, to raise her daughter the right way so that she knows what to allow and not allow from a man in her life. But this is just what most women go through. They, they're desperate for love. And so they're willing to have sex and have kids with the man, even if that man is no good for them spiritually, mentally, even financially, because Blueface is really pimping this bitch. Like, he's really pimping her. Like, water tay tippy top, bitch. Get my money right now, bitch. You feel me? Let's get it more into it. People for, for a certain amount of time, they begin to think that I'm like normal, I'm regular. The position that we're sitting in together, they, they start to feel like it's just it's normal, you know? And then they become not appreciative. And then usually that's when I kind of be like, oh, you kind of forgetting, you're, you're like, no, you're thinking, like, no, don't forget, you know? Do, do you? Now this part right here of this, of this interview, now remind you, this is the first 45 minutes, so I, I chopped up the most important section of this interview to me. Now this particular portion like really highlights how Blueface is a psychopath. This nigga said, he the people when he get with a person, uh, when he got with Krishan, she started treating him normal, like he's a regular nigga. Boy, you is what the what the fuck? Just because you you got money, bro, and just because you're a popular nigga and you or whatever the fuck you think you is in your head, don't mean you is more than the next person. You not God, bro. That's why he made that comment. She said she uh giving God the thanks, nigga. Who the fuck is you, boy? Like, bro, this the, the dude is a psychopath. He is seriously something is seriously wrong with this nigga. Like, he's like uh. 
they start treating me like I'm a normal person. Like, boy, you is normal. What is you talking about? I'm glad Krishan was treating you like a peasant, bro, bruh. I'm glad that she was treating you like a regular, degla ass nigga because she come from Baltimore. It's just plenty of, she met plenty of motherfucking rich niggas. Like, your money is not nothing. Like, what the fuck? She, I'm, I hope Krishan bleed the fuck out this nigga, man, with child support. She need to bleed this nigga, man, for the rest of his fucking life. And she need not to fuck with this nigga ever again because this nigga is retarded. Something wrong with him. And he needs seriously psychiatric psychiatric help. Like, for real. You know, doing what they really want to do. And you're like, okay, I see. You know, you were just having a moment of desperation, a moment of no way out so you know but if somebody as calculated as you when she beat up your mom and your sister didn't you feel like she crossed the line what? 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 homie really was mad talking about something he got tricked in 11 krishan she played him what krishan real life loves you boy you ain't get tricked she's like she's you you was mad because she wasn't tr she wasn't um acting treating you like you her god you not her god you are a regular human being bro with money. I think you barely got that. That's why you pushing Jade and Alexis so hard. You know what I'm saying? To uh to make music and shit. Like, what is you talking about? You was mad. You even said you saw a star quality in Krishan. I didn't hear you once say that about Jade and Alexis. So which tells me you real life was in love with Krishan and you real life wanted to help her because she was actually giving you your props and making and telling you you know you you got it and really being a woman like to you although she was mature in some immature in some things like right because she's young and you're older you supposed to have a little bit more brains but you didn't Krishan actually did in this situation now that I'm looking at it you know what I'm saying like you an idiot bro Krishan need to leave you the fuck alone man this is the end of this episode uh, of my three it's probably gonna be like a six seven part uh you know reaction to this interview but man whew, this is good though